teach him a lesson. <laughs> Hold steady, will you, my beauty? Will you behave? Stop this nonsense! Shows how stubborn he is, Othello. Take my advice, you could win the competition with Boris. I put the money on him. Ah, uh, don't you worry, Hugo. I'll soon get Othello under control. He'll find out before long which one of us is master. We'll see who lasts out. You or I. Visitor Dimitri. Well, you got yourself into a fine mess, Uncle Mitchell. How are you feeling? Dreadful. Every time I lay eyes on that white coat. Mm, I've expected something like this to happen. I knew sooner or later you'd land yourself a few weeks in hospital. Because I was right, he wants to make a personal issue of it. Don't listen to him. By tomorrow I'll be driving home. Now look here, my good friend. You go home when I say so. Not a day earlier. Try and pull yourself up. <laughs> Does this still hurt? Not a bit. Try telling that to your grandmother. Lie down again. With Boris, this would never have happened. It isn't Othello's fault entirely either. I was trying to force him too much. He was overtired. He was so stubborn I got mad and hit him quite hard. How's Uncle Dimitri any serious? There's nothing. I got up just now and walked around the room. No bother at all. I'm feeling all right, Mincha. Well, I'll let you out of here on one condition. You have to sign a statement for me, declaring it's your wish and your responsibility. Right, where's the paper? I'll do it now. As you wish. You will be put in plaster. Julia will come for you about 11 o'clock and you to promise that you'll remain in your bed. What's one supposed to do in plaster? Dance a cha-cha-cha? Oh, don't be so dismal, Uncle Mincha. 
Richard, you can always become a riding instructor. To be sitting there looking at them. I have got to ride. Ride, you hear? <laughs>